Nin explains the rules of Gaelic football. Gaelic football is an Irish sport played with two teams of 15 players each. The game is played on a field that's generally a maximum of 145 metres by 85 metres. These are the goals which are 6.5 metres wide and the crossbar which is 2.5 metres above the ground. Unlike in soccer, the posts extend above the crossbar just like in rugby. The exact same goals and field dimensions are used in hurling. The object of the game is for your team to score more overall points than the opposing team. To score, a player must kick the ball into the goal or over the crossbar. If they successfully kick the ball under the crossbar into the net, this is a goal and is worth 3 points. If a player kicks or fists the ball over the crossbar but between the posts, this is a point and this scores 1 point. The game is played in two 30 minute halves for a combined playing time of 60 minutes. High score at the end of time wins. Any game that results in a draw must be replayed. Wait, there's more isn't there? Oh yeah, Gaelic football looks complicated and moving the ball around the field is the most difficult part to understand. There's a lot of things you can and can't do to move the ball up the field in Gaelic football. You can move the ball by kicking it out of your hands, kicking it along the ground, and running with the ball in your hands so long as it's not more than 4 steps. If after 4 steps you want to keep the ball, you must hop the ball off your foot to be eligible to take another 4 steps. This is known as soloing and is the equivalent of dribbling in soccer. You can also choose to solo the ball by bouncing it from the ground, but you are not allowed to do that twice in a row, therefore most players alternate between hopping it from the foot and bouncing it on the ground. A player can catch the ball with his hands in the air, a player can hand pass to a teammate where you slap the ball with an open palm, and a player can fist the ball where you strike the ball to a teammate with a clenched fist. However, a player cannot touch the ball on the ground with his hands or lift it with his knees. And a player cannot throw the ball. There are 15 members of the opposing team who are trying to take the ball away from you so that they can score themselves. They are allowed to make shoulder to shoulder contact so long as the opponent has possession of the ball. Or if no one has the ball, be shoulder to shoulder to the opponent nearest the ball. They're also allowed to use their hands to block shots or to knock the ball out of your grasp. If you're used to Australian rules football, this may seem very familiar, but there's a few other things that you'll need to understand before playing or going to a game. For example, free kick. A free kick is a restart in play, usually after a foul. If a foul occurs, a free kick is awarded either at the spot of the foul, where the ball lands after a foul, or the 13 meter line for fouls inside the 13 meter area. A player has to declare whether to play the ball out of his hands or from the ground. Foul. If a player commits any of these infractions, a foul is assessed and the other team is awarded possession of the ball by way of a free kick. A player can also be cautioned with a yellow card, sent off with a black card but a substitute may replace him, or a red card where you are sent off the pitch without a substitute replacement. Penalty kick. If a foul was committed on a player with a legitimate chance to score, a penalty shot will be given to the attacking team. The ball is placed on the ground at the 13 meter line and only the goalkeeper can guard the net. Just like in soccer, it's one kick only and any goals scored count towards the overall score. Substitution. A team is allowed to substitute up to 5 players per game. Very similar to soccer, the players must wait in the substitution area and players must enter or exit at the designated area only and only in a stoppage of play. To the uninitiated, Gaelic football seems ridiculously complicated. But once you understand the rules, it becomes a pretty cool sport to watch. If you found this video at all helpful, please like, share with your friends, comment, rate and subscribe. It takes me ages to make one of these things and good karma is very much appreciated. If you're also on Reddit, you can post this video and discuss it there. But in the meantime, enjoy Gaelic football.